Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome to Outpost Whiskey. Now, if we just pan up here, you're probably going to recognise this base from Starship Troopers. I replicated this today in quite high detail, trying to get as correct to the movie one as possible. I had a quick look at the game reference that is it's just completely different, the fort. And in the movie itself, the fort actually changes shape two to three times, depending on which shot or angle it's actually taken from. And especially in some of the close-ups, the background of the fortress looks completely different. So I use this with the large area sort of pan in the movie and I got the best sort of replica as possible. So we'll work our way around the outside and then we'll work into the individual cabins. So this fortress does get overrun in the film and I'll show you some of the flaws of it that I think are actually in its design when I looked at it. Now, you can see we've got these pillars underneath that support the wall and the bugs or the creatures can get right in underneath here and they're not able to be shot directly down from the attackers above. So that was a little bit of a flaw within this fortress build itself. And we've also got these support beams that have used a small ship to add a little bit more detail and these are used to strengthen Strengthen the wall in the movie. They've got some ropes coming down from them, so they strengthen the wall on both sides to stop the bugs from pulling it down. And as we work our way to this side, this is the only curved corner of the base. You can see we've got there, and I've not really had a sort of option to place any sort of catwalk on top, so I've just left it bare for the moment, and it looks pretty damn nice. So we'll switch over to the character, and I'll show you one of the cool little features on the way in. So we've got the door that does raise uh, lower, so we'll head out here. We'll press the button, and you can see the door raising up to that high position so the bugs can't get in there's no other way into the fortress and i think it looks absolutely beautiful there and we can also press the button to lower it as well now the downside to this is you can't access access it from the center but you can remote control it as you go in so we just hit the key there close up the door behind us and now we're safe within the fortress itself and we've got two main walkways up the sides. So we've got this walkway here, and we have the walkway on the other side, and we've got the gun tower. Now, the gun tower, tower in the movie actually has a ladder going up to it, but we don't have ladders in Space Engineers, so the best way of getting you guys up with it without wasting hydrogen in your jetpack and not being able to get up here at all is just a simple little straight angled block like that and we've got two turrets up here that can be remote controlled and used but there is no down and up elevation if i wanted to do that i'd have to change a bit of the look of the turret themselves and i don't feel like doing that so we can actually have a look around from up here as well the turrets also spin if i nudge them nudge that back that way do a little bit of remote control and spray everyone in the castle oh god i think we've got bugs breaching the wall already where's that okay i can hear the bugs down below they've not come through the hole in the center Okay, I think they might be stuck in the wall on the outside. Yeah, you can see the blind spot I was talking about before where some of the bugs tend to hide in when they're attacking, but you can get them when they're coming up from a distance. Once they get under there, it's going to be problematic. So I'll work our way around the huts. Now, from the movie, this area has two huts, but from different assets, you see one to two in this area, and it's a little bit confusing, so I ended up just putting one in and leaving a bit of space for that radar array. And into this room, we've got a little bit of a respawn base, so if you wanted to use this as an attack and defense scenario, you could have space engineers holding the Starship Troopers 4 and other space engineers dressed as spiders attacking up the walls. But you could also have this room here. Now, this room is another breach room where the tunnel leads down into the center, and inside here is where you find the commander hiding in the cupboard. And he's all panicky and all sort of lucid, lucidogenic and stuff and going all crazy. We walk back out of him and we've got the final hut. Now, I don't believe they go in this hut in the actual movie itself. So I just had to use a bit of creativeness and just put another med bay in here for respawning and a bit of cargo containers. But it's just a really nice fort. And I just enjoy building the Starship Troopers sort of build. We've also got the hole in the middle where the sergeant loses his legs to one of them giant bugs. Really cool little idea. And just to finish this off, I've also messed around and built myself one of the dropships from the movie here. You can see we've got a little dropship, we have a door at the back, so this is what comes to extract them from the fortress at the end. We'll hop in there and we'll drill that um, little like, arachnid sort of creature on the front. So we'll just fly this over here, be gentle and careful. Okay, where's that spider located? He's just there, I think I might damage the fort if I fire at him. I have to be really careful. Okay, here we go, there we go, spider's down. And we can go and pick up our soldiers from inside, or crash into the wall, or just crash into the ground because the controls are not that sensitive. Just another cool little addition to this base. Anyway, I'm going to put this up on the workshop so you can have a play around with it yourself. And hopefully when more bugs start spawning, or maybe I can even talk to some of the modders and see if we can get a bug script. So we can spawn hundreds and hundreds of bugs to see if they can overrun the fortress. But that's just another idea for another day. Anyway, let's thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.